guys welcome back to my channel it is Friday and I wanted to give you an update on my doctor's visit but first on my way home I was just craving a sandwich or a, a what we call po boys or something with you know lettuce and tomatoes and and ham and cheese on it so I thought well if I run into Jersey Mike's or Subway it's going to end up costing me ten dollars so I saw the um, Aldi that's not too far away and so I said well I'll just pull in there and I'll buy my own bread and, and lunch meat and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes. So I have a nice Aldi haul. I was very impressed with their prices, how low they still are. But before we go through the Aldi haul, I will let you know what my doctor said. So he wants me to go back for a mammogram and a sonogram. So I figured I was going to have to make another um, another appointment for the mammogram. So I'm going to call the Lenox Hill today before they close and see if I can get an appointment for Monday or Tuesday. But he said that it, it just means that the, the tissue showed up as, um, he called it asymmetrical, a, a symmetry. And I didn't even know what he meant by that. But I looked it up on Google and it just states that, you know, the, the tissue looks a little different. Maybe it's more dense and they just want to do another mammogram just to make sure that it's okay. But he said it's not cancerous or a tumor or anything, or, and he doesn't think that I will need a biopsy. So I got some wonderful news today, and I want to thank each and every one of you for praying for me. It really touches my heart. It really does, and I just appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. Prayer does work. So let me go ahead and show you what all I bought from Aldi. Um, oh, let's see, what else did he say? He's still harping on me getting on the statin, and I told him, no, I'm just not going to take a statin. So he said that he's going. To, he prescribed a different drug that's not a statin, but he said it works in the colon some way to keep the intestines from absorbing cholesterol. So he said, well, let's just give it a try and see if you can tolerate it. And then uh, he refilled my vitamin D, and I talked to him about the, the scratching and the itching and the picking. And he said, well, you probably need to go see a psychiatrist. And I said, but I don't want to change my psych meds because they've been working so well for me for the past 15 or 20 years. I haven't had to go into a mental hospital. And before I got on this Airquil and the Zoloft, I was in and out of mental hospitals. I mean, all the time. I don't even know how many I've been in. But it was this short little petite female psychiat psychiatrist at Pine Grove in Hattiesburg years and years ago. She was a recovering alcoholic and she would leave the facility at noon every day and go to an AA meeting on her lunch break. But she's the one that figured out what I needed that would help me. And so my doctor said, well, maybe, you know, don't, you know, we wouldn't change. You don't have to change your psych meds but maybe just add something to them. So I may consider doing that because this is the year that I'm going to get healthy. And um, so I, he had me on the, the little examining table and he did the EKG. And while he was putting all the little electrodes on me, he goes, um, oh, so you put on a few pounds. <laughs> I said, yes, but I said, I've um, increased my Medicare Advantage plan and it includes a senior, free senior membership. So I, I plan on going to start exercising. And he goes, well, losing weight starts at the dining table. I said, I know that. He's a wonderful doctor. I really, really do like him. So let's get busy and I'll show you all these wonderful things that I got from Aldi today. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope that none of you are sick with any type of flu or COVID or anything. Just hope everybody's well and, and healthy. Can't believe how how cheap they were. Like I said, I really just went in there for um, milk and eggs and bread and, and lunch meat and cheese, but I ended up getting a lot of stuff. Uh, Jill had picked this up for me at Lidl, the creamy Alfredo sauce. It's really, really good, but they've doubled the price of it. and. I told her, I said, then don't get it. I don't want you paying five dollars for it, but she got it for me anyway. I'll half it and make get two or three meals out of it. 
So the bread was on sale. The classic white bread was on sale for 50 cents. And the large white eggs, aren't they beautiful? Eggs were $2.58 for the dozen. And I got three um, on the vine big tomatoes. I mean, I can, these one tomato will last at least three sandwiches. I'll slice them real thin. So the tomatoes on the vine were $2.89 for three. And they had the blueberries, a pint of blueberries on sale. They were only $1.99, and I'll be making smoothies with those. And the Boston lettuce, well, they call it green leaf lettuce, dough, green leaf lettuce was a dollar seventy nine. Got the broccoli to go in my Alfredo sauce. It is um twelve ounces. So the broccoli is ninety nine cents. Broccoli full rip. No, ninety seven. And then they had the uh, deli style turkey breast. And then I got the deli sliced baby Swiss. The Swiss was three forty nine, and the turkey was three thirty nine. Funny how the cheese is more than enough for me. And then I got me a. I don't normally buy soda like this, but it was a lot cheaper than the can. I mean, the twelve pack. Of cans was almost eight dollars. I'm not paying that. I'll probably drink it before it goes bad. So the two liter Diet Coke was two forty two, and then I had to pay a nickel bottle deposit. And I have my gallon of milk in here. Y'all are not going to believe the price on this gallon of milk. Look, can you believe that? A dollar forty nine. That's amazing, right? Uh, I can't believe they have, they have it so cheap, but I am so blessed and thankful for it. I drink a lot of milk. And then I got the Black Forest ham. This is eight ounces. Deli sliced ham was three thirty nine. And I got these um I already got into them, y'all. Clean seeds original potato chips. They're a little too salty for me. I guess I should have looked for low sodium, but I didn't. And so this is 10 ounce bag. And the chips were $1.99. So something was taxable. I don't know what it was. Probably the soda. 21 cents added on to it. It came to $26.94. And then with the bottle deposit and the tax, was um, all of this for $27.15. So I feel very blessed today. <sighs> Already wore out. I forgot my eyeglasses. I rushed out of here because it's a 45 minute drive to, from here to Cedarhurst. And the traffic is just miserable in that area. It's very, uh, it's very heavily populated and very crowded. <laughs> and uh, the, the streets are so narrow. I'm sure it's a village that was settled back in the uh, late 1800s or the, or the first of the 20th century. And, you know, I was reading about Donald Trump's father, how he, he's the one that bought all of this land and, and developed all of these homes that so many people live in nowadays. It's very interesting if you go back and read the history of Donald Trump's father and how he's the one that built so many homes in New York and on Long Island. I love history, so I, I don't care who it's about as long as it's something to do with history, I do love it. So thank you so much for being here with me today. It's so good to see all of you. And I want to just thank you again for all of the prayers and you know, it takes time to, to sit down and, and pray for somebody, and I really appreciate y'all including me in your thoughts and your prayers. It means so much to me. So y'all, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, that's very important. And my views are up. I'm getting almost 5,000 views a video, and that's amazing. 
So I want to thank you again for everything that you do for me. I just love all of you. Uh, also share, and if you're new here, subscribe, and you will be loved and accepted here. And y'all just keep on coming back. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.